Hey everyone, it's Jason. Welcome to uh, LEGO Super Mario Series 2. Uh, so we're going to go over the two power-up packs and a bunch of the mystery packs. I don't have all of them. I'm missing, uh, I think, four of the ten. Uh, so we'll go over them and when I eventually get the other ones. We'll go over that in a second video. And by then, they'll usually have another set out anyhow. Um, check out the Maker video, the first one in this series. If you want to know just a little bit more update on what you need to play the Mario Series 2, it's like two minutes. Um, check out the Wiggler set if you want to know more about the new Poison Swamp layout. Um, I'll kind of show some of it in here because I do have some of the characters that are involved with it, but uh, I went a little bit more detail on that one. Um, otherwise, yeah, let's jump in. Let's look at the cool new suits. So we have uh, the Kanuki suit, or Kanuki. Um, however you want to pronounce it. I'm, uh, according to my wife, I'm always going to pronounce it wrong. Uh, and like the suits are just Mario pops them on. You can throw the hat on if you want to complete the look. Uh, but it gives them an extra little cool power. And then we'll have the penguin suit. This is from New Super Mario's, I believe. Uh, New Super Mario World. And I gotta figure out where I stuck Mario. Oop. So there's the little setup they give. I love that they give the little, like, uh, here's a little platform. So I'm just throwing them in the bag. So that way you can kind of display them. And plus you can attach them to the rest of your set. So to put on your outfits, you, of course, pull off Mario's pants. Gets this Tanuki leaf symbol in there. And now we got Mario dressed up as a Tanuki. Uh, and then he's got a little tail on the back, like Cat Mario. And so, what he does here is, I'm going to see if I can do this. Um, let me grab something here quick. Uh, all right. Sorry, I get bored to put this on. Uh, because the reason is, it's because my table is purple, and the new swamp mechanic involves Mario seeing purple, so it's hard for me to interact with him on the ground. But what Mario does here... He's got a tail swiping action, so if I put him near an enemy... And it counts as hitting that enemy once. Uh, let's get one of the bigger guys. Um, where is Larry Koopa? Come on, Larry. We're going to take you out with the Mario. So, I mean, it doesn't work on the bosses. But it gives him, like, the tail swipe action, much like the... Um, Fire flower suit gave him the fireball action. Um, even if they don't do a whole lot of different things themselves, like they don't really interact 100% with the other things, it's just neat to be able to dress Mario up a little bit differently. He also has... He's supposed to have like a sliding action. I can uh, run. I'm trying to see if I can get it to work. He gets a bunch of coins after doing it enough times. Uh, so that's the Kanuki suit. Uh, it's kind of neat. I'm probably not showing it off to the best of the abilities. Uh, you know, but that's what happens. Mario back in his regular outfit. And there you can see the slime. Um, so what the slime mechanic does is it has three levels. <clears throat> I can just show you really quick. So it gets these levels on there. And if it gets too high... Mario becomes dizzy. When Mario's dizzy, he can't interact with uh, characters or bad guys until it wears off. And you can jump in uh, one of the blue lakes to wear that off right away. Alright, then here we have the penguin suit. And this one's actually a little bit more interesting. Because he's got a hack, but he's also got arms. So 
Jeez. Mario will... If I, it's actually, I love this because it's... They gave him, obviously, hands to hold stuff, but I don't think they've had anything for him to hold outside of maybe, like, one of the poles. But now he's got little penguin arms. Um, so that's kind of cool. Nothing special on the back there for him. So this Mario... is supposed to simulate that he's sliding on his belly. And you can do various stuff like that. Again, I'm not showing these off to the best of their abilities. And then when he lands. So yeah, if you have him running. That's Mario. So he does a little belly slide. Um, again, I probably didn't show it off to the best, the best of the abilities. We'll put him back as regular Mario for now. I will reattach all this stuff back to its platform in a moment. Alright, now let's protect the mystery packs. Alright, so first up, we have our good old friend. We have a Goomba. Um, I'm going to slide this back out of the way for the moment. So this is a parachute Goomba. So it's supposed to be the, representing the Goombas that drop from the sky. Um, I love that they have a little clear platform for him to stand on. Um, and he works just like any other Goomba. He just gets one hit, so, because ideally he's going to be falling and you're not going to hit him until he falls, and then he falls, he's a regular Goomba. Um, I do have, because I got a second one, um, is I swap faces on this one with one of the regular Goombas from a different, one of the other sets, so that way I have this, so my pair of Goombas have different faces. My regular Goombas running around have different faces. I did the same thing with the, the regular pair of Goombas, the ones with the wings from the original Mystery Pack, because they had one face, and then, like, the, all the generic ones usually had the same face, like, from the sets. Just to, like, you know, shake it up a bit. Um, and then this Goomba comes with one of the Poison Swamp tiles. So it's just... Uh, a little bit extra on there, so if you want to, like, take him off, put him somewhere else, you can use these tiles for other things. Uh, speaking of poison and poison swamp, we also have the poison mushroom. Um, so, unlike the Mario Lost levels, which is, I know, where the poison mushroom originally came from, and they may have reintroduced it in later sets, this doesn't automatically kill you. Uh, oh, I popped him right off of there. Um, but it's got the purple swamp tile, little log, log thing there. Um, it just makes you dizzy. I immediately gets in that poison thing, which means now he can't interact with other characters as long as he's poisoned. So it does the same thing as the poison swamp, just without having to be in the swamp. Um, the maker set, uh, if you watch that video... One of the customizable blocks options you had was for the Poison Mushroom. So even if you don't find this in the Mystery Pack, there is ways to get around having that Poison Mushroom. Um, and be able to get access to it. So it's kind of cool. Uh, now we have another purple guy, but he's an aquatic one. We have a Spike Cheap Cheap. So that makes us our third Cheap Cheap because we have the regular ones from the Toad set. We have the Eep Cheap from the previous Mystery Pack. Uh, and then now we have the Spike Cheap Cheap. Uh, which is that. And lots of the flying guys all have this mechanic here so you can like tip them down. Now you notice the Goomba didn't have that. Because again it's just the idea the Goomba drops. Parachute pops off and then he's a regular Goomba. But they made these guys so you could kind of like flip them down to hit them. And then... Nothing too special there. Uh, just more fish characters. We want to make a water world. Um, we've seen Shy Guy before. He's been in one of the original sets. So here we have the new one. His face is slightly different. Um, I should go grab that quick and show you. Uh, but this is a Fly Guy. And the difference is he has a spinner on his head. But yeah. Shy Guys aren't like uh, super, super common. Especially in the uh, regular Mario's. Um, where 
is my other shy guy right there. Oh, I guess he has the same face. I thought one had a little bit more of an open mouth, but there's the two shy guys. So the like, difference is basically they put a little propeller on the top. So if you did, so if you buy it, well, a bunch of shy guys, you could buy a bunch of the mystery packs now. You just take the top off, and he's gonna be the exact same guy. Um, I'm gonna guess that they're. So their pictures are different though. One shows the flying, one doesn't. And he, uh, he has the clear block to show that he's hovering. Because I don't believe these guys fly super high in there. I think they hover just high enough that you can't duck under them. Um, but that's cool. So if you do want a bunch of shy guys, rather than having to buy a ton of the one set where they came in, you could just buy a bunch of the mystery packs. And I just popped his arm off. Oh no. I do like that a little, little thing there and their little hoods. Uh, so there's more shy guys for you. If you're looking for more of them. Alright, then I have two more brand new characters. We haven't seen any of these guys yet. We have a Ninjini. Little black ninja guy. And I believe these guys are also from Mario too. Seems like they have the poison stuff from New Super Mario World. And then a bunch of the enemy stuff are from Mario too. Some of them. These guys are. So they're little just ninja guys. Little grass. Nothing terribly special about them. For gameplay wise. Found someone. But hey... More enemies, more things are definitely cool. Just you're not, you know, only fighting the same Goombas. And then lastly, we have Fu. He's a little cloud guy. He can tip over. Um, I don't know much about him. I believe he's also from the new Super Mario World games, which I did not play against. But it's another desert one. I like having more desert content. Um, really wish I could get a hold of that Mo Monkey Mole set. And he just got one hop too. So nothing, nothing extra special on him. Uh, just another unique design. You can hide him up with the clouds on one of the, um, like one of the background things. There's enough cloud things. So the other characters we're going to get out of here is we're going to get a flying buzzy beetle. Which is really neat because then it's, it's like the, uh, like the spine except it doesn't, it has the wings. Obviously, uh, but yeah, those are the ones that'll be flying around. You have to hop, you can ride them. So I kind of see if that interacts the same way because you don't take them guys out. So I wonder if it's just kind of a mechanic where if you ride it, it does something, um, or gives you like an interaction music thing, kind of like a riding thing. So I'll, I'll have to find out when I get one. We're missing the Hucket Crab down here, the Thwimp, um, and the. Uh, Dry Bones Goomba. Uh, so definitely all cool ones to get. Um, yeah, that's those. That's all the mystery stuff. That's Mario. I showed off all that. So, alright. Uh, hope to see you guys. Check out all the rest of the videos. Uh, sorry, when I get the rest of the mystery ones, I find the last four when they actually show up in stores. Because I ordered all these online. So they're all, like, they're truly mystery packs. I couldn't feel them up and try and figure out which ones. And I'm hesitant to buy a bunch more mystery packs because I already got duplicates of Ninjini, uh, Paragoomba, and Fu, and I don't really want to get, I, I want like two of everyone, that's fine, but I don't want like six, six of the same character, so I kind of have to wait till they're in stores, uh, but if I get, as soon as I get those, I'll definitely do a video, we'll show them off, if they release any more special sets like they did Toad's Secret Hideaway, or when the second half, I assume, of Series 2 comes out, we'll do a video for that. Um, see you guys later. Bye.